Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mommy's and Kiddies and today we will be making some healthy ash gourd curry. So ash gourd curry is very delicious and also it prevents you from uh, deadly diseases, it will help in weight loss and it will also help, uh, help you in maintaining your health and also weight. So make sure you make this curry at least once in a week for good health and uh, good weight so let's get started so it's very easy to make uh, you just have to take half a cup of tur dal i have neatly washed the tur dal and then uh, ash guard which is uh, cut into big pieces why big pieces because by the time you cook it it's gonna become smaller in size so make sure it um, it is little big only and um, once this is added add tomatoes two tomatoes if it is small and uh, if you have a big tomato you can just add one here i have uh, put two tomatoes because they are very tiny ones and then a uh, little turmeric and then some oil so you have to cook it in the cooker for just uh, one whistle only one whistle don't overcook it just one whistle and then now add some salt into it and water so i'm taking water a uh, little above all the ingredients almost two to three glasses of big glasses of water and now i'll be adding in some salt and uh, uh, we'll cook it just for one whistle okay not more than that now one whistle is done and let's open and see it would have cooked perfectly well And as you can see, uh, dal is also cooked well. And uh, after, uh, after tarka, we are gonna boil the um, curry, so uh, it will cook even well. Okay. So now we will add tarka to this. So it's very easy to make this curry. is super easy, and you can finish it in just 15 minutes. And here I'm taking two tablespoons of cooking oil and some mustard seeds almost uh, one teaspoon of mustard seeds and then onions you can take any onions and um, i'll be taking curry leaves dry chilies and make sure the uh, onions uh, turn brown so saute it very well so once the onions turn brown switch off the uh, stove and add uh, jeera into it now i have switched off this towel add some jeera and sambar powder why i switched off this towel is because when you add sambar powder if the stove is on the sambar powder will burn so make sure you switch off the uh, stove here i'm adding mtr sambar powder almost three tablespoons so depending on how spicy you want it you can either add two tablespoons or three tablespoons so this is a spicy sambar powder you can also buy uh, shakti sambar uh, masala shakti sambar powder also so either one is fine or you can also add if you have you know homemade sambar powder you can also add that so uh, you can this packet will cost you around 60 rupees and instead of making the sambar powder at home you can just buy this packet it just cost you 60 rupees and you can make sambar like good uh, um, almost seven to eight times or much more than that depending upon the quantity you make and now you need to transfer the tarka into the uh, cooker and uh, now is the trick you just uh, you need you don't have to stop it here and 
now uh, when you boil it for almost three to four hours you will get a good taste good aroma and the sambar will just taste awesome so make sure you don't uh, add tarka and leave it there now if you feel the water is less you can add more water and add some salt and boil the sambar for almost three to four minutes so you don't want to stop it here because now the, all the masala and the ingredients have to mix together and boil together uh, that is when you get good uh, sambar aroma and also the sambar will taste good so many people will stop it here please don't do that and as i want my sambar to be little thin i added some water and now i'll be adding some salt we had added some salt in the beginning for the ash guard to observe and now we are adding some more salt for the sambar so make sure you don't add you know too much uh, uh, salt in the beginning otherwise your ash guard will be salty okay uh, so make sure you add little in the beginning for the ash guard to observe and then little later for the sambar so keep it separate and as you can see the sambar has been boiling for almost three to four minutes now and your sambar will be ready so it has to boil very very well so that the ash guard will observe the sambar powder and taste good so here it is healthy lunch for your kids and for yourself with little rice and um, ghee and uh, sambar and ivy guard curry ivy guard uh, i mean sorry ivy guard palya so even the recipe, Ivy Guard Palya recipe is also there on my channel. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. You can go ahead and check it out. So thank you so much for watching my video. And please do subscribe and hit the bell button. Bye bye. Have a nice day.